Hello everyone, this is Natasha from the CAO and today we're just going to walk through the basics of how to use a fillable PDF. So first things first is once you get to your workbook, you want to open it up. Now the next thing is what's nice about the workbook is that the table of contents is actually linked. So if there's a specific page that I want to go to, for example, if I wanted to head to page number 10, who are your participants? If I click that page, it's automatically going to direct me to that page. So that's nice because you can just jump pages instead of having to scroll through your whole document. Now the thing that you'll be using most as coaches is filling in the actual content in the workbook. So as you can see here under this little graph, there's check boxes and there's an option down below as well that there's a text box. So anytime that you are selecting or need to fill in content, you can automatically see that as there will be a blue tint behind where you need to fill in your work. If we scroll down, there's a few other options. For example, there's some multiple choice here where you choose one or the other, and then there are more larger text boxes. So once you fill in your content, the most important thing throughout this whole document is that you need to continuously save your work. There's a chance that your computer could shut down or it crashes and you don't want to lose all the work you've done up to that point. So if you follow my cursor, I'm going to head up to the top left corner where there's file. And if I haven't saved my document and I've already started, the first thing I would recommend is that you click save as. Now this option will actually allow you to choose where you'd like to save your document on your hard drive. So for now, I'm just going to choose my desktop and then it will prompt me to name my document. You can leave it as is, but if you have a lot of files, I always suggest naming it something easy to remember, and especially if you're in a home study program, for example, and we'll be sending this off to your learning facilitator, I also recommend that you put your name in. So I'm just gonna put my name in the bottom part, as so. So now my document's saved. The last thing that might be convenient for you is if you also want to jump pages. For example, I want to go to the last page, page 58. I can just select this page number here and type in the page that I want to go to. Hit enter and it will automatically take me to that page. So those are the basics of how to use a fillable PDF. If you have any questions or concerns, you could contact us or you could email education at coachesontario.ca. Thank you.